Symptoms include severe fatigue, stomach problems, and body aches, just to name a few. One out of every three soldiers who fought in Operation Desert Storm are now affected, but new research is aimed at giving them some relief. Jim Orocho is a Gulf War veteran. That was seven months in the desert. Shortly after coming home, his health took a turn for the worse. Full body pain, all muscle and joint pain. In 1990 and 91, we sent 800,000 U.S. troops to the Middle East to fight in the first Gulf War. Dr. Klimas says the soldiers were exposed to multiple chemical toxins in their uniforms. Out of 800,000 troops, some 300,000 veterans are now ill 27 years later. So one in three came back ill and stayed that way. Dr. Klimas and her team at Nova Southeastern University and Miami VA went to work to find a treatment for Gulf War illness and the debilitating symptoms. They put study participants on bikes and measured their body's responses and found their systems were off balance. In this particular study, we're using a biologic intervention. She says the goal is to bring the nervous system back in balance. The study has moved to phase one in humans. Jimmy hopes this research will finally lead to some relief for his fellow soldiers. I really want to see a effective treatment across all of what is causing the Gulf War illness. Despite his own pain, Jimmy traveled to Puerto Rico to help hurricane victims, once a soldier, always a civil servant. And doctors expect this treatment to be available in about five years, most likely in the form of an injection.